So you're the South Asian fat loss expert. What should I replace my rice with when I want to lose fat? So if you want to change your rice, it's not necessary. You can do two things. What are the two things? One is you can go for something that has more volume. So like potato is the most satiating food on the planet. So you will feel fuller after it than rice, which means that you'll eat probably less snacks afterwards. Or what's the other method? You can have like quinoa, buckwheat, couscous, all those like healthy variations. You just need to know how much to have. How much pasta per meal should I be having if I want to drop body fat? So around 50 to 60 dry weight grams is around about 200 calories. Doesn't matter if it's penne or spaghetti, it's all the same. And then if you want the cooked weight, it's double the amount of uncooked weight. But with that serving size, it's going to be 200 calories. Because it doesn't have much volume compared to the potato, you might be quite hungry with it. But it's going to be nice to have it with a meal that's more of a balanced approach. What do you think of quinoa and buckwheat? I think if you're looking for to make yourself feel better, healthy foods like that, always get a good wrap they're in all of the healthy food stores like whole foods but in reality there's not that much difference if you're in a calorie deficit or a calorie controlled diet between the likes of potato quinoa couscous if anything it's going to make you more hungry without any real benefit so it's not worth it so you and your friends might feel good after a yoga session you go and get some couscous something but the reality is there's no real difference between potato rice or quinoa one's going to make you feel fuller the other one's going to make you feel healthier but it might make you hungry afterwards i don't eat it personally